Hey, Iron Pigs fans, Mike Ventola with you. Very excited to introduce to you new Iron Pigs pitching coach, Aaron Foltz. Aaron, first and foremost, thank you so much for joining me. And secondly, uh, how's the quarantine life treating you these days? Well, it's uh, unusual to say the least. I think my wife's ready for me to go to work. Uh, but staying busy as much as I can. I uh, In the winters, I have an off-season job at a a uh, battery store so they needed the help so I've been helping out there some so staying busy as much as possible you know it was funny I was talking with Connor Brogdon recently and he talked about how he was you know keeping in touch with you you and other coaches and obviously you know trying to keep up with his routine how much has it been for you and you know the other coaches just making sure these guys are keeping true to the routine staying healthy in pre preparation for the upcoming season well, that, that, that's the basis of most of the calls. But, you know, more than that is, you know, I just call to try to, you know, to show them that I'm concerned uh, because I do care how, you know, their life is going right now, whether, you know, not that there's anything I can do about it, but just, you know, if there's food in the grocery stores or if, you know, just, you know, just general life right now. But, yeah, I mean, we I do ask about, you know, them throwing and working out and all that stuff just to let them know that, you know, it is still expected, even though it's it's really hard. You know, for you, last season you had the opportunity to uh, be with the Reading Fighting Phils, a team that had the opportunity to uh, go to the postseason and then uh, really put together a fun year. And you know, um, knowing that you in the off season were being told that you were getting the opportunity to now be the pitching coach at the AAA level, um, was that was that a decision that was made relatively uh, quickly, or was that something you kind of ended up finding out um, as the offseason went on, that knowing that you would be reporting to Lehigh Valley instead of actually going back to Reading uh, for this upcoming year? Well, I actually didn't find out until, I want to say in January, actually. Um, but, you know, I knew that either way, if I was going to uh, Reading or to, to Lehigh Valley, I was in a good spot either way, so I was excited, you know, in, in both instances, but obviously, you know, very excited for my first season in AAA, although it, you know, hadn't started very well yet. <laughs> All right, and, you know, for you, I mean, you know, because working with pretty much a bunch of, you know, younger guys, um, some guys that you were, had the opportunity to follow as you yourself have kind of come up through uh, the system as a coach, and now, you know, with AAA, you get that balance of, still young and up-and-coming guys, but also to some, some veterans that kind of have to, you know, keep their spot, you know, keep themselves afloat at the AAA level. How do you balance um, as a coach knowing that you work with younger guys, but also to work with some guys that have put in some major league time already? Well, I'm actually really excited about that because, you know, the you, you have to do different stuff at, at, at lower levels uh, as a coach. And now it's a lot more about the actual pitching and, and reading hitters and learning their tendencies and knowing yourself and uh, not as much mechanics, which there's still some, but more just on the actual, you know, game itself. And uh, I'm really excited for that part because, you know, I mean, I know it's been a long time since I was there, but I remember AAA and, and AA as a player. So, you know, I'm looking really forward to it. Which is great. And, you know, for you, because, I mean, you had – um, you know, you had the opportunity to pitch in the major leagues for a number of years. And, um, you know, you've had the chance as well to uh, experience postseason play, go to the World Series. And knowing that you had um, a lot of that experience, um, how beneficial knowing that you've been, able, been around the game for such a long time, that getting a chance to pass that message and pass that experience on to some of these guys as they make their journey, uh, how beneficial do you think it is to some of these guys? Uh, I, I think it. Uh, I mean, uh, that's hard to answer. I mean, I think it's very beneficial because what you just said. I have been there and done that, but uh, I personally think it's more beneficial because, to be honest, I wasn't as good as most people. So, you know, I had to work my butt off to get there and stay there. So, just that aspect, the, the mental part of the game was really important for me, and and that's my favorite part to teach. Uh, because I think it's the, the, the toughest to deal with and, and having to deal with failure and successes and everything. So, uh, yeah, that, that's the part I'm most excited about is that part of the game because, you know, to me it's the hardest. Now, I know for, you know, for you, it's trying to make sure your guys 
get to the, you know, you're trying to develop pitchers so they can get to the majors, help the Phillies win, stay up there consistently. And, you know, that's a, a large part of what a lot of coaches in the minor leagues have to do. But, you know, for you yourself, you've moved up the system now. Is the end goal for you personally that someday you could be a pitching coach at the major leagues? Uh, I'd be lying if I said no. Uh, I really do enjoy what we're doing right now. Um, the big league level, honestly, I don't know because I've never, you know, been there and experienced, you know, the pressure and, and just the the, the the media scrutiny and just all that. The conference is major league. Uh, it is a challenge that, that I would really like to try someday. Uh, but you know, that's kind of decisions above my head. I think. You know. Um with everything to that, you know, kind of going back to, you know, trying to keep yourself busy and especially, you know, with all that's going on right now, uh, how important has this time been for you? Not only because like you said you were working at a, at a battery store, but really getting a chance to spend some time with family. Cause this time of year you'd be on a bus somewhere or you'd be at Coca-Cola park, you know, you'd be putting all these hours in preparing for a game and going through the game process. How has this experience been, um, just knowing that, you know, now you're spending, getting an opportunity to spend more time with family. Oh, it's been awesome. I've got a two-year-old baby girl that, you know, I'm getting to see, you know, just grow up and talk more and being around that. I mean, uh, there, there's not a price we can put on that because, I mean, that's just awesome. And obviously, I've been around my wife as well. But, you know, I mean, they knew – or my wife knew that, you know, I was a baseball coach and, you know, I'm gone so much of the time. Um, I mean, it, it's a great, maybe the only silver lining to this whole, you know, mess that, that's been going on. Um, but I'm ready to coach some baseball. No, I'm sure you are. And, you know, with um, other things, too, with going along with spending time with family and working, uh, um, what are some fun stuff that you like to do? I know, you know, some coaches like to go fish, play golf. Um, you know, whether it's getting work done around the house, being outdoorsy, what are some fun stuff that kind of take your mind off of some of the nuances that go on in the everyday world? Uh, what are essentially what's some fun stuff that you like to do? Uh, I, I enjoy golfing, you know, to an extent. I, I'll golf fairly frequently, uh, but more than anything, uh, hunting and fishing is my, my passion. I mean, I enjoy anything outdoors. Uh, and that's why I like that area, you know, up there so much because – it's just beautiful country. So, yeah, any hiking, hunting, fishing, you know, anything like that, I really enjoy. Yeah, I know, um, it was fun, you know, with uh, hiking and stuff like that, I remember uh, when uh, Dusty Wathen was, uh, when I was with Redding and he was our manager, he used to go on hikes all the time. It was just nice to see how not only with players finding time to, you know, keep themselves busy, but even coaches as well, because, I mean, you guys go through the grind as well, right? those long bus rides and, um, you know, having a, you know, those late overnight travels and things of that nature. So um, even though that you're experiencing it all once again as a coach, how much fun is it though? I know some people, you know, some people say it's a drag on those long bus rides, you know, how much fun though is it though really getting a chance to kind of go through this now as a coach as you once did as a player? Uh, <laughs> I don't know that the, that the long bus rides and all that would be considered fun. I mean, the actual game itself, and that's part of the process. Uh, I do really enjoy coaching. Uh, I could do without, like when I was in Lakewood, the, the long bus rides in that league were absolutely miserable. Uh, Reading last year was, was really good. You know, it, it wasn't that bad. And I know the Traveling Lee has, you know, a lot better as well. So, um, I mean, again, I, I love the process. I do, but I, I won't say that I love the bus rides. No, I know sometimes uh, you try to find new, you invent new ways on how to fall asleep on a bus. It's even if you, you can fall asleep on the bus. So um, I know uh, with um, talking with uh, some people with, you know, getting a chance to, uh, you know, knowing that we, we're going to be talking with one another. Uh, some folks wanted to know when, you know, when going back to your playing days, did you have a, a teammate that you really got a chance to, um, you know, did you have a favorite team or shall I say someone that you guys, you really developed a strong relationship with from your playing days that you still keep in touch with now as a coach? Uh, probably the strongest ones uh, are uh, Calvin Murray. I played with him with the Giants. Uh, and then also Joe Nathan. Uh, I played with him for a long time as well. And 
you know, one of my hunting buddies is uh, Damon Miner, who I also played with with the Giants. So, I mean, I still stay in touch with several guys. Uh, obviously, time and commitments, you know, take you away from as much as you want to. But, but yeah, I think uh, Calvin, uh, Joe, and Damon are probably my, my closest three. That's awesome. So, like, when you think back to, um, you know, getting a chance to keep in touch with those guys, I know it's hard during the season, but do you ever get an opportunity to get together at all during the off season, whether it's for uh, um, a certain engagement or just a simple chance of, hey, let's get, find a way to get together? Well, Damon and I hunt together every year. Yep. Uh, we go on a hunting trip uh, to Texas every year. And then uh, Calvin, he actually uh, works for uh, a, a baseball agency, so – Anytime he's anywhere near, we, we get together and hang out. So, so yeah, I mean, we, we see each other occasionally, just not as much as, you know, we would probably both like. You spent um, two seasons with the Phillies as a player, and I know because now with you being a coach, you get a chance to interact with a lot of those guys that are still um, a part of the organization. Uh, but, you know, um, when you think about your two seasons as a player with Philadelphia, was there a uh, – a certain moment or a certain um, interaction that you really enjoyed as a player that maybe kind of now led you to why you've been with the Phillies for a long time? Uh, just, you know, the front office was phenomenal. Uh, I mean, they were, you know, they, they treated me really, really well. And just the, uh, I don't know, the, the whole feel of the organization. I mean, I know people say this all the time, but, the the Phillies are are an extremely well run organization. I mean, it's it's like a family, and and I know that's you know you hear that all the time, but it's really true. I mean, it's you know it's one thing that really sunk in uh, as a player, just seeing the uh, and then the continuity. I mean, there's still a lot of people here that were here when I played for the Phillies, you know, 15 years ago. So I mean, that's pretty impressive as well. You know, it's, you know, you mentioned some of those guys, you know, two other big players, or of course, even front office spoke and, you know, you know, even guys like uh, Charlie Manuel are still around, Larry Boa, and of course, even a coach that you'll be working with this year, hopefully, and, and Greg Legg, you know, when you, you mentioned about the continuity and how all these guys are still there, you know, is it, no, is it satisfying to know that, like, man, you know, these guys have been around, they've been everything that's been, everything been about the Phillies, that could eventually be me someday. Well, yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, that's, you know, that's the challenge in this game that, you know, trying to, you know, I don't know, I'm, I hate to say seem relevant, but, but just keep, you know, doing your job well enough for, you know, the, the new, you know, organizations are going to change as far as, you know, the, the, the bosses, you know, are going to come and go. So keeping uh, relevant with the new regimes that, that come and go is, is always, you know, I'm not going to say it's tough, but, you know, it's just, you know, now times. Um, with anybody, any fans that maybe watch, that will watch this, you know, we we have a wide range of fans uh, with the Lehigh Valley Iron Picks. But if any young kid is watching, you have a message, especially for those who are aspiring uh, to be a baseball player or, you know, specifically want to be a pitcher in the big leagues one day. What would be one piece of message that you would give to a young player that's coming up now, whether it be through Little League or even going into uh, – high school to kind of put themselves in position uh, to try to get into, you know, the professional ranks one day? Well, I mean, you just kind of hit nail on the head. To, you know, you're trying to put yourself in that position. I mean, my heart, my best advice is to work really hard, but have fun because I mean, this game on the professional level is, you know, it's extremely difficult if you love the game and it's impossible if you don't. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a grind to get to the big leagues. You know, well, it's a grind to get to, you know, professional baseball and climbing up the ladder as well. But, you know, that's my two biggest things is work hard and, and have fun. That's awesome. Uh, I got a couple of uh, spitfire questions just uh, for just for some fun, I guess, uh, to get going here. First question would be favorite road city you traveled to as a player? I would have to say Chicago or New York. I, I can't pick between the two, but I love Chicago. Um, favorite food you've had when you've traveled, whether it be at a restaurant or a certain place that you never had before until you went there. It was like, all right, this was the best thing I've ever had. Uh, I would have to say Ron's Japan in Chicago. They had the, 
the surf and turf and the, the heart attack sauce on the lobster was just unbelievable. And it made it better because I was rookie and I didn't have to pay. So, of course, that made it taste a lot better also. No, oh, absolutely. If you didn't have to go into <laughs> that, that, that's awesome. You can't beat that. Um, where's one place that I know you mentioned Chicago and New York, but somewhere else where that you maybe traveled to as a player or a coach, you never thought that you would, man, I had never thought I would ever expect uh, to be here in this city or town or even state. Uh, that's tough. I mean, I played all over and played in Taiwan and, and, uh, we played a series in Puerto Rico. That would probably be the one that I never expected to go to, uh, because we played a series when I was in Texas, we played a, a three game series against the Expos there. So, uh, that would probably be San Juan would be my answer. Not because it's bad or anything, but just right. because you know, I never thought about going to San Juan. When you went to Taiwan, what was one aspect about Taiwan that is different from here in the States, whether it's uh, food, uh, music, things over there that you really saw for the first time that you thought was awesome? That you're like, man, we got to maybe have to bring this back with me in some capacity here to the States. Uh, honestly, when I, I was a player then, the uh, recovery – stuff that they did back then I mean and, and they're um, I'm gonna say our trainer you know the, the massage the acupressure stuff mm -hmm. was unbelievable I mean it was and of course I didn't tell into my career but I mean I couldn't wait to pitch just so I could go through the recovery process so so yeah that would probably be my favorite part all righty so um yeah that's those are the last of the spitfire questions I had those were a couple of uh predetermined fan questions that I had received uh, from a few folks, but uh, Aaron, I want to thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure getting a chance to talk with you. Uh, looking forward to obviously, hopefully uh, getting together in person at some point, but before I let you go, anything else you'd like to add, uh, whether it be to our, uh, those watching it or just uh, to anything you'd like to put a cherry on top to our discussion. No, I just really enjoyed it and I appreciate it. Uh, I just hope I, get to see everybody soon because you know like i said i'm ready to get to work and and see uh the only game i've been to in lehigh was the exhibition game we played last year and it was really cold and wet that night so i'm very excited to see the place you know and, and i've heard nothing but spectacular things about the fans in the park so i'm really excited that's great so i know our fans will be excited to meet you and uh looking forward to seeing you help uh, a lot of these uh, young pitchers uh, get up to Philadelphia and help the Phillies uh, in their quest to win a World Series. So, Aaron, I want to thank you again and enjoy the rest of uh, this quarantine. And like you said, hopefully we get back at it soon. All right. Thanks so much.